Our <laughs> former Google insider Tristan Harris says urgent action is needed to address the dark side of technology. Harris was among the first in Silicon Valley to share his concerns about people's dependence on technology when he spoke with 60 Minutes like in 2017. Now the former Google design ethicist is pushing for a new agenda for tech companies to stop what he calls the downgrading of humans. Harris is the co-founder of the Center for Humane Technology. Good morning and welcome. Thanks the reason me. I think there's a connection is it means stay away from your devices and then yes. you won't be spoiled. But people can't stay away from their devices. But tell me what downgrading of humans means. Well, so the, the point is this, this is an issue that's bigger than screen time. It's not about addiction. You know, people are seeing these things as, as disconnected. Outrageification of our politics, yes. teen addiction to mental health issues, mm -hmm. social isolation. But these are all connected because they're all part of the business model of extracting human attention. The race to the bottom of the brainstem. And that systematically leads to this connected system of downgrading humans. While we're upgrading the machines, we're downgrading humans, downgrading our attention spans, downgrading our mental health, downgrading our democracy and our civility, because the business model says that outrage works better. Because outrage works on that part of the brain where you release all the norms and social filters and all that. It's yep. the really your animal brain. Exactly. So first we go into your animal brain to get your attention, but then to go deeper, we have to get hundreds of millions of people addicted to getting attention from other people. So this is how you get the teen issues with mental health, where you have you know, teenage girls who are, who are addicted to getting attention from other people, the number of likes they have. Um, and it's, it's uh, I think, two and a half times uh, self-harm and depression issues uh, for teen girls between 10 to 14 years old. But as a former old. Google person, don't the companies know they're doing that? The tech companies know they're doing that, Tristan. I think that they don't like to admit that the business model of our stock price is directly anchored to how many minutes from your mind that I can get from you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's a direct coupling. We need to decouple this thing. This is like moving from you know, the fossil fuels era where stock prices are directly connected to how much we're polluting mm -hmm. to you know, something that's more regenerative. And so we need to move to a regenerative attention economy that doesn't downgrade humans. We heard the Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that Facebook will become a privacy-focused social network. Does that make sense to you? How do you interpret that? Um, well, the issue is that they're trying to avoid liability. I'm sure there's many things that they're there are good reasons for doing what they're doing, but when they move all this, you know, the Russian hacking, the pedophilia stuff, all this, this stuff that's going on in, the, in, in these different groups, when suddenly they're inside of private groups, it's not their responsibility. And so... Wow, I never thought of it like that. So once it's encrypted, they don't have to be responsible for telling, you know, the FBI or whatever, we knew this was happening, because they can't know. Yeah. So one of the challenges that moves this really important activity into the dark where it can't be tracked, and that's one of the negative issues. Doesn't that make it worse? It, it can, although the, everything is complicated, and so it's, you know, they have good reasons for doing what they're doing, but it, that's the, the, the cynical view. Can I go back to regenerative, because that sounds hopeful, and this can get very depressing very quickly. Yes, yes. I do feel like a lot of the things that companies do, it's like taking the labels off a liquor bottle. Yeah. It's not going to stop you from drinking, because you yep. know the bottle is still there. So right. what is actually regenerative that might you know, offer some light well, here? The, the point is that they could be competing in a race to the top to help us find common ground, sure. competing in a race to the top to help people who feel isolated find connection, but they have to move from the business model. Right now, all the dating apps, for example, they want to keep you swiping for as long as possible. Imagine they're competing to make it easier to spend time with people and meet people. Mm -hmm. And that's where we can actually make that change happen, especially Apple, by the way, is in the best position to change it because their business model is not capturing attention. But give us a specific that might, you know, technology that might make us feel more alive rather than, than killing us. Think of your phone like, a, like in the GPS. Your GPS isn't meant to suck you into the GPS. The GPS is meant to get you out back into the world. So imagine a future a humane world where technology is like a GPS and it's just getting us back into the places where we, you know, humans are really good at empathy. We're really good at connection. We, we have all these evolutionary instincts that work for us. We just need to have technology support that. Do you think Silicon Valley wishes you would stop talking? Uh, I think there's a combination of, of frustration but also respect because this is all just laying out facts mm -hmm. and everybody knows that everything I've said is true. Um, this is about, and I, I'm doing this not because I want attention or selling a book or anything yeah. like that. This right. is because it's an urgent existential issue. If we don't tackle these issues, we're going to destroy our common ground. We can't agree on facts. Mm -hmm. If we can't agree on facts, you can't do anything, whether it's inequality, climate change, we have to have a, a shared agenda of what we want to do. Totally agree with you. And the loss of civility, yes. this downgrading, as you say, of humans, it ultimately affects our democracy and That's our ability right. to get good things done. Exactly. No, the, Always the words of the race to the bottom of the brain stem is sort of chilling, Tristan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's so turn it into a race to the top. To so We're listening to you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me.